What's happening, everybody? Y'all know what time it is. Yup, it's my Lon Tane. I got the rib right here next to me. Anyway, today, yup, we at it again, y'all. We're going to be replacing this uh, cylinder. Yes, it's an air cylinder. And this one right here, uh, this particular one right here, it goes uh, for a tailgate latch. For a ox body bed, we actually got the parts from ox body. Uh, it almost that really had it since they made the bed, and this is a custom bed built for this truck and everything. Anyway, so we'll be replacing this cylinder with some brand new one, and uh, this is the process. So y'all sit tight and. Uh, Let's do this. We're gonna start off with a uh, I'm gonna remove these uh wire ties just like so. Too. The reason I have to remove this is uh because of this harness. All right. So and and the system does have it's got air in it. So we have to uh right here first let's see if we can get this line out let me go ahead and uh deplete the air pressure right quick all right i got most of the air out best as i can here we go this is a quick disconnect all you have to do is press it in and it's almost out. Take on my air. I'm gonna let that air come on out. And now we'll go ahead and straighten out this part of pin or part of key. Just like that, you got your quarter key out. We'll go ahead and remove the quarter key in the back. You can come around this way. Straighten that quarter key out with your pliers or whatever you're working with. There it is, y'all. Now, now the easy part. We go ahead and I need to mark these wires so I know which one is which. All right, I just got a little strip of uh, 
black electrical type and I'm just going to tape it on this wire right here. I just need to know which wire is which because from the way to look at things, they look identical as far as in color. So there it is. All right, with that, with that done right there, all we gotta do now is cut them. As much as I didn't want to cut it, I have to. Uh, that's the only way I can put this on because I did not get the pigtail for the harness. You just push your pins out. And there go your cylinder for your tailgate. Uh, this is the mountain tarp used by Oxbody and as you see here I have two of these cylinders I'm actually gonna put two cylinders or uh, one cylinder uh, per truck I got two trucks I got to work on and uh, you see this is the pigtail yeah, it'd be nice if they came with the pigtails, you know, but it's all good. So let's go on and go back. Let's look up. Make a quick comparison. Okay, this right here is original. Again, from uh, Ox Body. Uh, so this is the old logo that they used to have. For the cylinder. That's the one. Differences on the quick disconnects are different. These are brass. On the new one and this old one is plastic. Nothing wrong with the plastic. They're perfectly fine. And uh, probably gonna keep this old one for a spare. You know, because you gotta wait a couple, a couple of days, a few days, maybe even a week or so to get these uh, in from them so let's go ahead and uh remove this nut screw the nut back on this nut is your locking nut these are the extra parts that come with it yep you got your two Harder keys and and pins. And this is your clavis, which just screws in there. So just screw it in a little bit until the rod is almost to the tip. So, all right, let's grab a pin, and what we'll do is go ahead and hang this cylinder up. All right, let's do this, y'all.
That is. Now I gotta measure my throw. I look, I look to be all right, y'all. Dead on the money. Dead on the money. Look like that is bang boom. That is can't beat it. Can't beat it. So I got my pins in. Pins is holding the entire cylinder. Go ahead and run some car keys in there. And we are having a very windy day today there go the car key just go ahead and bend that hole over I suggest you use some pliers to bend your car key over Go ahead and put this rear one on. There it is, y'all. So now this little little pretty thing right here I'm gonna have to cut it off y'all I'm gonna have to I, I just have to didn't want to like I told y'all but I have to cut it off because I don't have a pigtail to marry with it okay so we'll go ahead and simply cut it off Build a harness or the wire. No, didn't make it all the way through. There it is. And we'll be doing the same for the the other end. It'll be great to use wire strippers in this matter. Unfortunately, I'm working with what I got. And uh, if you like me, hey, do the same thing too, you know what I mean? It's great to keep a pocket knife. Help you out in certain situations like this one. That's for Okay, my, my dang fingers. I know I got it, y'all. I know I got it. Got it. Dang, it's stubborn. There we go. All right, so this first one is the ground. Go ahead and wrap it up. Again, I normally use uh, butt connectors on these, but pun intended, I ain't got none with me, so I got to make it do what it do, you know? So before we even...
move forward with this what I like to do is I like to run my tape on it right quick pre make my my harness or cover up my harness that I'm creating I'm just gonna go all the way around it real tight if this if this happens to you uh, like you doing this on your own just make sure you practice safety first you know and I'm probably gonna redo the, this uh these wires more likely it's a high possibility I'm gonna redo it anyway I'm just getting it done right now just so I can get it out the way yeah it ain't it ain't fun uh hearing that air leaking and you know your whole system depending on that air for your vehicle to stop. You got people jumping in front of you, brake checking you. And I bet you some of them be them smart folks too. To give it a little twist, y'all. A twist, twist. Same thing, same thing. Go ahead and wrap it up. Real nice. Going back down. Now I'm going to go around both of them. Basically seal the deal. just like that and uh this will be fine just dangling around now we just gotta hook our hose up into it this is probably gonna be the hardest part for y'all uh you gotta focus real hard concentrate and pray and all that good stuff and then you just stick the hose in there you pull it out See this, uh, this is the quick disconnect part right here. Camera won't focus, y'all. Blame it on the camera. But, uh, yep, that's it, y'all. It's pretty much on there. Hit this mounted. This is down, I just have to get a, I gotta get a wire tie. I wanna wire tie this motor scooter. This excess is fine. I could leave it like that, but me, I like the wire tie that. So let me go grab a couple of them.
just just go ahead and apply your wire tie, zip tie, whatever you want to call it. You know. This thing right here I'm putting on. <laughs> and uh I could either have that right there, but I believe I want it just like this. It'll be okay. Like I said, I just need it out the way. It'll be fine. That's pretty much it, y'all. My knife is very dull. y'all remember you can fix it too yep on that note till next time alright everybody here's the tailgate latch we're gonna see if this, this motor scooter work y'all All praise to the most high. Alright, close it. Seems to be running just, just right, y'all. No more leaks. All praise to the most high.